Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you how I made my video fuel tank is empty within 100 seconds. I will go through the whole process, which softwares I've used, how I've put all the parts together and so on. First I make the numbers in GIMP. GIMP is a free and open source image editor software which I really like. To make the numbers I'm creating a new image and draw a number with the text tool in it. I am trying out a couple of fonts which is the best. Then I choose a color and set the correct size. Now it is perfect. I save all the numbers from 9 to 0 and also a comma in a separate file. Here you can see the process. I go through all the numbers to make sure everything is fine. When it's done, the next step is to draw the fuel gauge also in GIMP. I'm drawing the outline of the fuel indicator, the positions, and the letters E for empty and F for full. In the middle there is also a fuel tank sign. Finally I'm drawing the needle in red. Now let's draw and animate the car in Krita. First I'm drawing the outline of the car in white. Then I'm filling it with colors. I've already drawn the individual phases, so now let's see how it looks when I play the animation. It looks really cool. All I have to do is render the image sequence. Now I'm animating the fuel gauge in Katen Live. I'm importing the background image, the needle and the front covering image into the project. Then I'm dragging the three elements into three separate layers and rotate and move the needle from right to left exactly in 100 seconds. Now I'm rendering the animation into a video. And finally, let's put all together in Caden Live. I'm creating a new project and drag the individual parts into a separate layer. Now you can see the screen recording of the editing. I'm positioning the parts. 
the fuel indicator to the left bottom, the card to the right bottom corner and the numbers to the top of the video. I also have to set the size of the numbers. These numbers have to be a little bit smaller. And a bit to the right. Now I'm inserting the image sequences which contain the countdown numbers of the tens, ones and tenths. Just a bit of adjust. And done. I'm placing the sound and the music onto the audio tracks. Finally, I have to trim the music and set the end frame. Place the car and remove the smoke. Let's check the end. It's all good. All I have to do is render the video. If you want to see the end result, check the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, bye.